Alright, so we just got the Robotik palletizer and I wanted to do just a quick video on how to program it. Uh, just first kind of getting into it and just kind of show how easy it is to get it programmed and palletizing within a matter of really minutes. So to get started, uh, you'll click the palletizer node in the UR caps tab in your program and hit start. Uh, once you hit start, there's going to be a series of four things that you need to walk through. Box, palette, pattern, and I go ahead right away and I go into my settings and I'll change my box display and units from metric to imperial. And also you see this allow gripper to pick the box at 90 degrees. I typically don't do this unless I have a, a per perfectly symmetrical box. The boxes I'm using are um, a little bit more rectangular than square, so I'm going to uncheck that, go back home and start editing my box size. So I already kind of measured my boxes and I know what they are, but I'm just gonna go through a few things on here. So you can see the tool port connector here, how it's got it, the orientation is very important when you're teaching, um, you're picking and placing. For instance, your tool port isn't always gonna be on the longest side of the box. A is not gonna be always your longer, your longer end. Uh, just pay attention to that on where you're picking um, before you start your program and how kind of how it comes down your conveyor. You also see the set label orientation. I'm not going to do that in this program, but this is also where it's very important to make sure your tool port connector and your box that your label on, is on is all lined up and oriented the correct way. So I'll uncheck that. I know my boxes on the A are 11 and 3 quarter, and B are 8 and a quarter and C, they're around nine inches tall. And my boxes weigh around two pounds a piece. So once you do that, this, it's gonna actually say set grip position. When you go into set grip position, this is the only point you teach in the whole program. I have already have mine set up a little bit, so I'll kind of show you real quick what it looks like here. So I've got it set. You wanna make sure you have your suction cups compressed down in the box and get the, the gripper in the as centered as you can within your uh, on your pick point. Once we have that, hit the green check mark, hit OK, and then I'm going to move to my pallet. I know my pallet's 40 by 48 by around five and three quarter height. And for this uh, demonstration, I'm only going to palletize the left side. If you want to do the right, you just would check both of these boxes. So for this instance, I'm just going to show the left, and you can see how that kind of highlights there when you're doing, when you have it checked. And I can go to show to the right. See, now you have the right, and then check. Home, now I'll work through my pattern. So you're going to edit pattern A, add a box. So you can see your movement steps here. This is just how much each box when you click these buttons, how much it's going to increment. Right now I have it set at 0.394 inches. I'm gonna change that to just a little bit wider than my box to 8.3 and I'll add a few boxes here so I can kind of work my way down. Okay, so I have my first layer set. I'll go to my edit pattern B, and I'll do just a little bit different of a uh, pattern here. All right, now what I'll do is I'll go back and look at my pattern A and just see and make sure that these line up pretty close to the same so one, one's not hanging over the other. And they look pretty similar here. So I'll go ahead and go to edit layer or number of layers and I'm gonna have six layers on this palette. 
once you have that, edit layer sequence, and then I'm just gonna alternate. As you can see, I've got six layers. I've got A, B, A, B, A, B. Home, home. And once you have that, you're gonna wanna come over and set your grip. So I have the air pick on here. Um, so you can go to vacuum and vacuum grip. And then after, on, on your release, you always wanna make sure you can see this RQ underscore has box. So this is object detection. Um, one very important note is that you make sure your release is after that check. If it's before, it's gonna, that check's not gonna verify and it's gonna continually go to the same position over and over again. So just make sure that release is after your, uh, your uh, grip check. So once you have that, you're ready to palletize. So I'll have a, a video link here in a second. So when you hit play to start, Play program. It's going to ask you what box you're on. So if you stop in the middle of a palette, you can increment it and it'll show a visual as well. So if you're on box 46, it's kind of hard to judge, but if you have a visual, it's a lot easier. So I'll hit reset and okay. <clears throat> You can see there's a sensor here too, so the box presence sensor that comes with the box as well. Increase it quite a bit more to hit that. You need to hit that 13 box in a minute. 